So Sarat Chandra Oja, he is a very known name in pharmaceutical industry and he is executive director of Ideal Pharmaceuticals. Uh, he's been in the industry for 35 years and before this he was with Nepal Pharmaceuticals and Glaxo. Next, we have Mr. Pranay Ratna Stapit. He is uh, the director for Samsung Nepal. He's been working with Samsung Nepal for the last eight years plus as a mobile division head. And before this, he was with Bottles Nepal, uh, Coca-Cola, as sales and marketing head. And next in our panel is Mr. Prashant Kumar Mathur. He is a country general manager of sales and marketing for JGI. Before this, he was working with Carlsberg India and PepsiCo. He has experience of 20 years plus in sales and marketing. Thank you so much, panelists, for joining us here in your busy schedule. So without taking much of uh, the time, I know uh, we have to limit ourselves to the time limit that has been given to us. Uh, I'll straight away dive into the agenda that we have in hand, uh, this modern day sales challenges and uh, what are the solutions to those. Given that we all are from very diverse industries over here and we all are representing different sectors, I would like to start first uh, from Manojji. Hazuko uh, is my banking sector, my early could in my challenges, Kita, and Telekosari Kita Gonosakinza. Thank you so much. Pahilu kura ta yo sales summit ajana garnu bago ma growth sellers ko team lai ekdamai congratulations banne chaanchu. Very energetic ke through team lai layer ke thomar akna sab bhalun bago sa. So kati be lama gloomy time ma pani yesto prakar ko event aur le dehre urja pradan kar sa tishko lagi chahiye. Pahila mo thank you banne chaanchu. Ra ab basically mile banking sector ko kura garda khari alikhe the sales ma challenge aur kura garda mile pahila country wise. तेज पसी कर इंडस्ट्री वाइज अन्य इंस्टीट्यूशन वाइज रब इंडिविजुअल लिपि निकाल करने पर सब अन्य कुरा मौ बुधा के दुर्ग मराक्षु बिकाउज़ यू हैव लेस टाइम सो कंट्री वाइज हैं बिल्कुल कुरा करें बने बच्चे सेल्स को लागी पापुलेशन इज़ द फैक्टर कि न वंदा सानो कंट्री भाग को कारण ले कर दाखिली तबाई country level ma herda kiri infrastructure is a problem amile dheri oda dur daraj haru ma ayile bato haru gayo bhane pani barkha ko bela ma chai jana na shakini isthiti cha bhane kati bhe thang haru ma bato ghaato infrastructure ko problem cha jusko karan le sales ma samasya cha market risk this karan le adequate unna shakya chai na regulatory framework or ko cha regulatory framework le pani sales ka kati pe chiz haru lai innovations haru lai dekhi liya ra competitive market banaun lai tiyan kai na kai regulatory framework le pani bela bela ma amile room haru lock gar deko cha stay banking ke kura garna uncha bhane amile promotional activities haru chai garna paun de nao उपहार योजना करना पाऊं देना हूँ, कुनी वड़ा इंडिविजुअल कस्टमर्स लाइक कुनी प्रकार को सही फैसिलिट कर रहे थे लाई सेल्स को बूस्ट करना शक्त देना हूँ, इसका नले सो मेनी रेगुलेशन्स सा हरे केरिया मतलब लेपनी कहीं न कहीं हमलाई फर्क पड़ रहा क्या सर, अने और को कुरा इकोनॉमी स्लोगीस भाई रहा स इंडिकेटर हो रहा है सही इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर हो रहा है सही रामरो भाई रखा है ऐसा तो रस समस्या क्या था बंदा मानच को कॉन्फिडेंस को लेबल सही कम भाई रखा है ऐसा जस्ट लेकर था कि डिमांड साइड नहीं कमजोर भाई रखा है ऐसा अन्य ओवरऑल इकोनॉमी में सही क्यों स्लॉगी सिचुएशन हो रहा है कि समस्या की बात है बंदा इम्पैक्ट सही फिर बैंकिंग में अपनी रिफ्लेक्शन बाग होता है जस्ट को कारण ले हमले सेल्स करियो मने भी नहीं तो सेल्स को आउटपुट रिजल्ट में कन्वर्जन होने को साथ होता है अब तले एनपीए में बनो ना सेल्स तो करियो तो तेरे को एसेट्स सही क्रिएट सुनेट की लगभग थ्री एंड हाफ टिकेट भाव हमें हर एक हिसाब किताब ले पॉलिटिकली इकोनॉमिकली हमरो स्टेबिलिटी सही ना हमें फाइव इयर्स डाउन द लाइन टेन इयर्स डाउन द लाइन को सेल्स को फॉरकास्ट करना सकते ना तो इंडस्ट्री लेवल में मला फील होना है तीस पची का यारा इंडस्ट्री लेवल में कुरा कर दा खेरी पनी हमी too much competitive market भागो सा कि न मतलब ये उड़े प्रकार को चीज़ आप अब अयले भैरा को commercial bank के कुरा करो मतलब बीस उड़ा bank ले ये उड़े प्रकार को product sell करनी हो innovation सा रुकाम सा ये उड़ा ले कई चीज़ ले आया आये बने और को ले तेज़ में दी फेरी immediately शुरू करी आलने repeated चीज़ आरुज़ हैं बड़ी आऊँ सा innovative काम आरु भागो सा तेज़ कारण ले market competitive सा 
र जसको कारणले गर्दा खेरि कस्ट अफ प्रोडक्सन पनि घट्ने या भनौं न अब हाम्रो कस्टमा धेरै सुरु इम्प्याक्ट पर्ने इन्ट्रेस्ट रेटको पनि तपाईहरुले धेरैले भन्नुहुन्छ ब्याङ्किङमा प्रब्लम भइरहेको छ अहिले पनि लिक्विडिटी चाहिँ सहज हुने तर ब्याङ्कले ब्याज दर बढाउने यो प्रकारको चीजहरुले गर्दा खेरि पनि इन्डस्ट्रीले सेल्स गर्नु भन्दा पनि अब यसलाई हामीलाई अलिकति उल्टा काम भइरहेको छ ब्रान्डिङ र सेल्सको इम्प्याक्ट अर्को च्यालेन्ज हो किन भन्दा ब्रान्डिङ प्रमोसनल एक्टिभिटिज गर्नको लागि पनि हामीलाई सफिसियन्ट एमाउन्ट अफ एक्सपेन्डिचर कट डाउन गर्नुपर्ने छ ब्याङ्किङ सेक्टरमा बेसिकली सबैतिरबाट स्प्रिड पनि स्क्विज भइरहेको छ एनपिएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि बटम लाइनमा एकदमै प्रेसर परेको छ हामीलाई कस्ट कटिङको एकदमै ठुलो प्रेसर छ अब ब्रान्डिङ प्रमोसनल एक्सपेन्सेस चाहिँ हामीले चार पाँच वर्ष पहिलाको र आज कम्पेयर गऱ्यौँ भने हामीले सब्सटेन्सियली ब्रान्डिङ प्रमोसनल एक्सपेन्सेसहरूमा कट डाउन गर्नुपर्ने छ सेल्सको टार्गेट चाहिँ एडिसनल भएर गएको छ त्यो अर्को च्यालेन्ज पनि छ हामीलाई त्यसपछि गएर अनइथिकल प्र्याक्टिसेसहरू चाहिँ वास्तवमा माने पनि नमाने पनि हामी चाहिँ त्यो सेल्सको टार्गेट एचिभ गर्ने दौडमा म एकदम अनेस्टली भन्छु एक दशकभित्र ब्याङ्किङले ब्यालेन्स सिटको ग्रोथको साइज र बटम लाइनको प्रफिट हेर्ने चक्करमा चाहिँ स्टाफलाई टार्गेट दिने कुरा होला ब्रान्चलाई टार्गेट दिने कुरा होला यति धेरै टार्गेट यति धेरै बोझ दिउँ कि मिस सेलिङ पनि भइरहेको छ यसले गर्दा अनइथिकल सेल्स पनि भइरहेको छ जसले गर्दाखेरि यो ब्याङ्किङ इन्डस्ट्रीकै पनि एउटा इमेजमा अलिकति कहीँ न कहीँ मान्छेहरूले प्रश्न चिन्ह लगाइरहेको छ यो अर्को च्यालेन्ज पनि छ त्यसपछि ल्याक अफ एडिक्वेट डाटा पनि सेल्सको लागि पहिला प्लान गर्नुपऱ्यो प्लान गर्नको लागि डाटा हुनुपऱ्यो वास्तवमा मार्केट रिसर्च गर्ने या मार्केटमा तपाईँले डाटा खोज्नुभयो भने हामीसँग अर्गनाइज डाटा छैन त्यस कारणले इन्डस्ट्रीमा त्यो पनि एउटा समस्या देख्छु मैले त्यसपछि गएर अर्गनाइजेसन भित्र चाहिँ सेल्स टिमलाई मोटिभेट गर्न एकदम गाह्रो छ किन भन्दा स्यालरी बेनिफिट प्रोक्रिजिट्सहरू एउटै हो कुनै ब्याक अफिसमा बसिराख्ने मान्छेहरू कम्फर्टेबली बस्छ सेल्सको टिमको इमिडिएटली रिजल्ट पनि मेजर हुने र उनीहरूले बजारमा जानुपर्ने कारणले गर्दाखेरि उनीहरूलाई डिफ्रेन्ट प्रकारको प्याकेजहरू दिनु नसक्ने कारणले गर्दाखेरि उनीहरूलाई मोटिभेट गर्न गाह्रो भइरहेको सिचुएसन छ अनि गोलहरू र टार्गेटहरू सेट गर्दाखेरि पनि हामीले के त भन्दाखेरि प्र्याक्टिकल बेसमा भन्दा पनि र्यान्डमली गरिरहेको छौँ ब्याङ्कहरूको ब्रान्चहरू दुई सय तिन सय चार सय ब्रान्चहरू पुग्न थालिसक्यो अनि हेड अफिसबाट त्यो मोनिटरिङ गर्ने कुरा चाहिँ रिजनल लेभलमा नपुगेर हेड अफिसबाट हेर्छौँ म यहाँ हेड अफिसमा बसेर म नबिल ब्याङ्कसँग सम्बद्ध छु मैले बजेट एलोकेट गर्दाखेरि बैतडी दार्जुलाको चाहिँ कसरी मैले सेल्सको त्यो टार्गेट दिने त भन्दाखेरि पोहोर साल कति पर्सेन्ट थियो त्यसमा बिस पर्सेन्ट थप थपेर चाहिँ बजेट बनाएर मैले दिन्छु ब्रान्च म्यानेजरसँग इन्ट्र्याक्सनहरू कम हुन्छ जसको कारणले गर्दाखेरि के त भन्दा रियलिस्टिक सेल्स टार्गेट हुनुभन्दा पनि हाम्रो पुस सेल्स टार्गेटहरू छन् जसको कारणले ब्याङ्किङमा अलिकति सेल्सको त्यो टार्गेट मिट नहुने त्यसले गर्दा प्रेसरहरू क्रिएट हुने ब्याङ्किङको प्रोफेसनलहरू अलिकति डिस्करेज हुने त्यो अर्को च्यालेन्जहरू एकाति देख्छु मैले रिटेन्सन अफ कस्टमर इज एनदर च्यालेन्ज अस्तिसम्म डिपोजिट कस्टमरको रिटेन्सन च्यालेन्ज थियो अब लोन कस्टमरको रिटेन्सन च्यालेन्ज भएको छ किनभन्दा यतापट्टि हेऱ्यो भने लोनको डिमान्ड छैन भएको लोनहरू सेटल भइसकेको छ त्यस कारणले गर्दाखेरि त्यो साइडमा पनि अर्को च्यालेन्ज एउटा देखिन्छ त्यसपछि गएर इन्डिभिजुअल लेभलमा कुरा गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ हामीलाई सेल्सको टिमको जुनसुकै रिजल्ट पनि इमिडिएट रिफ्लेक्सन हुन्छ र त्यो च्यालेन्ज लिने मान्छेहरू कम भेटिएको छ किनभन्दा ब्याकग्राउन्डमा बसेर हेर्दाखेरि त्यो कोरसमा डान्स गर्नु र इन्डिभिजुअली डान्स गर्नुमा फरक हुन्छ सेल्सको टिम मेम्बर जहिले पनि एक्लै डान्स गरे जस्तो उसको हरेक मुभमेन्टहरू चेक भइराख्ने हुनाले त्यो च्यालेन्ज टेकिङ प्रोफेसनलहरू अलिकति कम भइरहेको छ अनि अर्को कुरा चाहिँ हाम्रो सेल्समा चाहिँ रिलेसनसिप म्यानेजमेन्ट टाइम म्यानेजमेन्टका कुराहरूमा अलिकति इम्प्रुभ गर्नुपर्ने कुरा छ अनि सेल्समा जब हामीले टार्गेट लिएर जान्छौँ फ्रन्ट प्रोइसको मान्छेलाई मात्रै दिन्छौँ ओभरअल टिमलाई सेयरिङ गरेर लिएर जानुभन्दा पनि आरएम बिएम या सेल्सको फ्रन्ट डेस्कको मान्छेले मात्रै त्यो रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी दिन्छ ओभरअल पिपुलले नलिँदाखेरि सेल्सको टार्गेटहरू मिट नभइरहेको छ र अर्को कुरा नलेज स्किल र एटिच्युडको पाटोमा पनि कहीँ न कहीँ त्यो हाम्रो जस्तो प्रकारको सेल्सको एक्सप्रेसन्स हुन्छ त्यसमा मिसम्याच चाहिँ देख्छु मैले अब यो हेर्दाखेरि चाहिँ यो अब कसरी यसलाई चाहिँ सरपास गर्ने त अब देशमा यो समस्या छ त्यो समस्या छ भन्दै गर्दाखेरि पनि यही चिजबाट पनि ब्याङ्किङ इन्डस्ट्रीमा भएको साथीहरूले सेल्सको चाहिँ त्यो तान्ने के हो त भन्दाखेरि इन्डस्ट्री वाइज इकोनमी वाइज कुन ठाउँमा क्याचमेन्ट एरियामा आफू नगाएको छ त्यो एरियालाई एउटा बकेट एरिया बनाएर फोकस टिमहरू हामीले डेभलप गर्न सक्यौँ र सेल्स टार्गेटमा सबै टिमलाई इन्गेज गर्न सक्यौँ म जस्तै पहिला जेडबी ग्यास ब्याङ्कमा काम गर्दा मैले त्यहाँ भएको गार्ड मेसेन्जरलाई पनि होम लोन सेल गर्न लगाएको थिएँ टार्गेटहरू सेट गरेर मोटिभेट गरेर टोटल टिमलाई यदि हामीले इन्गेज गरेर गयौँ र कन्टिन्युसली नलेज लेभल चाहिँ इन्हेन्समेन्ट गर्दै गयौँ र डाटाबेसहरू चाहिँ हामीले कम्प्लिट बनाएर गयौँ भने हामी ब्याङ्किङ इन्डस्ट्रीमा अरूभन्दा ट्रान्सपेरेन्ट छ देखिन्छ पनि
Yeah, obviously, the challenges which are faced by most of the fraternity here is no more different from pharmaceutical or pharmaceutical is nowhere it is uh, different from other commodities. I mean, uh, the basic thing, we are uh, dwelling through this bhuka world, the other session uh, must be from Ananji. Our market is these days, is uh, again in uh, going towards uncertainty. I'll give you uh, one example. Uh, earlier, I was uh, working for Nepal Pharmaceutical quite long period of time. There used to be one consultant for us. He used to use a word very frequently. That is, the health industry never be, never be unhealthy. And now, post-COVID, even the health industry has become unhealthy. There are several reasons. One of the reasons is the paradigm shift of uh, the acceptance from our customers. Earlier, there were sout of bacteria. Now it is virus. Now no more sales of antibiotics. Now we require to have these antiviral drugs. And it is again uncertain that tomorrow what will happen. In Hindi, there is a word called Langada Ghoda. We had a product called sanitizer, used to be our Langada Ghoda. Neither runs nor walk, but during the period of pandemic, it was the hot cake product. Now, I believe that none of us are using sanitizer here in this hall. <laughs> so, there is a paradigm shift. And secondly, during the period of COVID, most of us have become doctors for ourselves going through all those social medias and all, we started taking uh, herbal th sort of things very frequently, this tea early in the morning, and that in for our lunch. And similarly, in pharma marketing, from the allopathic product, since I am representing uh, allopathic medicine, it has gone to us the nutraceuticals. You know the nutraceuticals? Those which, which have been sent by our uh, relatives from Australia and uh, U US, the vitamins. So in Nepal itself, it has become a market of Malay. In Nepal, it has become a market of Arab markets in nutraceuticals in Nepal. And we, the Nepali manufacturer and marketers, we don't have that facility. Of, the don, government does not give us. Uh, approval for manufacturing those products, though they are very uh, common products uh, any company can manufacture. But vitamins, no, none of us are manufacturing multivitamins, the nutraceutical product, which are having a 50, 15 hour of market. And secondly, the regulatory things. Post COVID, government has started very stringent norms in um, regulatory appro approvals different several tests, several sort of different barriers. And government itself has become a big market for uh, industries, where few of the companies are only enjoying the sales. Government is, has started their own pharmacies in different hospitals all over Nepal. And for few of the companies who are inside that, uh, uh, that uh, circle, they are enjoying the sales. The rest of us, rest who are not, and we are not having that particular things. And thirdly, in Nepal, maybe surprising to most of you that our country, having a population of three crore, is having more than twenty-five thousand brands in Nepal. I compare it to the with Bangladesh or Pakistan, there they have three thousand, five thousand brands only. Here it is more than 25,000 brands. So the brand bombardment to the customer level is very high. And the same thing is happening, the retaining the customer for particular brands. Since we are not manufacturing single brands, we are not marketing single brands, we are having several brands uh, from a company. And thirdly, the, uh, my friend Gewaliji is here with us. In Nepal, monetary policy says that Third year of operation, you should have profit. 
you should give profit to your book. And in, for pharmaceutical, you need to have one and one and a half year R&D period, research and development. You start first manufacturing a small batch, and then for getting the approval for marketing, you need to have at least one and a half years. And how can we be a profitable company within three years? And thirdly, in our case, unlike bank and other sector, we are not having that much knowledge banking uh, our policies. Knowledge banking, I mean to say that there is several shifting from this company to that company in, in sales and marketing people. So knowledge is shifting from one place to another place. The, the earlier ma uh, employer is not enjoying that knowledge when the person is shifting from this to that. And another problem with us is most of the time, we are using our traditional tools to solve the today's problem. We are using yesterday's uh, these formulas to solve problem of today's, and there we are lacking. And I am I am going to indicate the digital side of the marketing also. The digital marketing and the data-based marketing are poor in our uh, in our uh, industry also. Saraji will touch bases with the marketing part sometime later. I'll yeah. come back to that. But uh, moving on, uh, Pranayji is uh, representing consumer electricals and mobile market. One of the markets which has range of products, a necessity for all of us. So what are the challenges that you are specifically facing in sales of these products at the present time? Okay, thank you for the question. So, well, uh, <clears throat> this is a very tough time for all the industries in Nepal. And mobile industry is not an exception. Uh, our industry also declined big time. And uh, this, in the declining industry, it becomes even more important to hold on to your position, right? So we cannot lose the market share, especially when the industry is so much crowded with too many Me Too brands. How do you uh, hold your position? How do you defend yourself? and you know, get ready for the growth for the coming days. So uh, here I would just like to say that um, <clears throat> there are a few things. Uh, so first of all, uh, um, I mean, you know, like we cannot be also the me, me Too brand. You have to have your competitive uh, advantage. You have to work on your strengths. So uh, basically there are a few players, you know, having their different uh, strategy. For example, some of the brands, they work on the pricing strategy. So basically, uh, simply, if you see some of the uh, mobile phone brands, let's say, they work on the simply the pricing. They provide the best specs at the lowest possible price. Of course, there could be some compromise in terms of the features or the quality, but then they are successful on their own right in terms of the, uh, the you know, holding on to their position. So, for example, and then other could be the product attributes. How do you differentiate your product from the competition? So now talking about, let's say, my brand, let's say Samsung, we, we rely on the research and development and then the, uh, the technology, right? The technological advantage. So that could be one. And then the other thing could be uh, some of the players may depend on the, uh, the focus market or the target consumer segment group. So there could be different ways to uh, fight to the competition and then hold on to the position. Uh, but then it will really depend on the situation and the industry that you operate in. Uh, that is one, the competition side. And the second thing is, uh, Unlike the uh, previous two industries we discussed, perhaps we have some decent amount of data about the consumers, about the, about the business size, about the trade, you know, everything. But then very important thing is uh, data is one thing, but then you cannot always rely on the data because sometimes the data could be uh, misleading also. So uh, what we need actually is the, also the intuition, right? The data and the intuition has to go hand in hand because uh, as I said, uh, data can be sometimes misleading, but with the intuition which comes with your experience, with your knowledge, uh, let's say also simply sometimes it's just a good uh, judgment, right? It's just kind of a, you know, your intuition that gives you the solution. So at times you have to rely on the data as well as the, uh, your intuition to arrive at a high stake uh, decisions. So I think uh, that is a very important thing. And then in the industry, uh, that is something uh, the, you know everyone is learning, and the other very peculiar uh, problem challenge for the mobile industry, I would say, is the parallel import. So many of us perhaps know about that. 
the, uh, as per our data, out of the total importation that happens in Nepal, almost one third are the parallel import. Means these are the products which are imported, which are simply the gray products, which are, you know, which are evaded, uh, tax evasion products. And then it's difficult to uh, compete with these products. And we always keep our voice to the government, to all the you know, concerned authorities uh, that here with the PI product, it's a, you know, there is a I mean, loss for all the stakeholders, be it the consumers, because consumers don't get the product which perhaps is compatible to the uh, Nepalese network, right? NTC and Selco network are compatible. That, and then the government is losing the revenue. And at the same time, importers and the companies like us, we are also losing the, uh, the uh, business revenue. So in that context, we have uh, been lobbying with the government. And finally, the mobile device management system has been uh, implemented, but it's not fully reinforced. So we are counting on that uh, to be enforced and then uh, this uh, PI being uh, controlled. So I think these are some of the challenges the industry faces. And yeah, so that, that's where we are. Thank, Thank you, you Pranaji. MDMS is one of, uh, I think, the questions we all have in our mind when it will get implemented and what the impact would be. And we'll come back to that. But moving on, uh, Prashanji is representing uh, FMCG sector, one of the most versatile sectors. And I'm sure there are a lot of challenges that your sales force is facing at this point. So what are the ch challenges if we put it in the bullet and how do we tackle those? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Poonam. So I would uh, put this uh, current scenario or the challenges that under four buckets, OK? The first bucket is uh, the external factor. Okay, so external factor, uh, everybody, we understand that, you know, working capital is the challenge right now, not only for the big organizations, but also for the smaller retailer, okay? So for that, what solution that as a salesman I can provide is stop giving false recommendations. So if you can help the retailer to sell or rotate his funds faster, he will be able to give you support for the first time. You will not be able to repeat this purchase if you are making a false per false uh, co commitment or false, uh, you know, uh, some kind of a promises. So working capital, improving the working capital is smaller for the smaller outlet is the need of the hour. The second uh, subset under this particular external factor is the new emerging uh, trends of, of the channels, I would say. So uh, the traditional outlets are long and gone. Okay, so there are new platforms which are emerging. So for example, 10 years back, uh, modern off-trades uh, came into life. We saw Bhat Bhattinis and uh, Salisbury's of the world. And then now post-COVID and during COVID, new platforms like e-commerce or digital, uh, digital platforms are also coming in. So for us, from a sales uh, perspective, we need to make our strategy omnipresence. Okay, you cannot make your strategy only for one channel and not having your presence in the other. So you will have to have your presence and your strategy to be built for all the channels. Otherwise, some part or the other consumer you will lose. Okay. The second bucket I will put it as a consumer. So consumer today is well informed and that's a challenge because consumer today gets your information, gets everything in a click of a button and that goes faster, even faster than our sales services, even faster than, than where we can move from one outlet to the other. So if you are as a salesman, if our behavior, if our service uh, courtesy, if our, if our interactions, if our offerings are not good enough, by the time you reach to the next outlet, your behavior is right there on the platform and our sales will get affected. The second component is within this particular uh, consumer is shorter span of attention. You hardly have consumers mindset or, or you have 
you have only five uh, seconds when he comes to the shop and you know gives the money and takes your product. Specifically in uh, liquor section, I can say that. You know, he keeps in their mind, gives money, takes back, and goes out. Doesn't want to spend more than five, one minute, I would say. Then in that sense, you have to be crisp in your communication. You have to be clear and yet impactful. From the sales perspective, I would say, if you are impactful enough with your execution in the outlet and that you can stand out, so that, so that your attention span of the consumer is with you, then you can solve it. So that's the second bucket. The third bucket is change. And the change is, first is change management through technology. Technology is the biggest uh, uh, challenge, I would say, is for the entire sales team, be it any organization, be it any vertical. Organizations are trying to build in uh, technologies to get faster information, uh, information that can help them grow faster, th that they can uh, you know, build the spaces, build the uh, gaps. But at the same point in time, if my sales team is not equipped enough, not trained enough to use those technologies, that becomes a challenge. So if we can upgrade ourselves continuously to you know, keep ourselves at par and at the same spin or speed with the, uh, the changing technology, that will be good for us. The second subcomponent on the change is changing mindset. Changing mindset is, and we are all understand, everything across us, around us, is changing. Be it change within the organization or be it the change outside the environment. If we are using the same processes and the techniques to, to sell that we used to sell five, maybe five, ten years back, it will not work in the current organization or in the current setup. Uh, we have to continuously start looking into what are the avenues to do things differently. All of us must have heard this thing statement from any of our consumers and customers. Current situation we have not seen in, in Nepal in last so many decades. So if the current situation nobody has faced, the current s solution will not come with the previous methods that we have used. Okay, so we have to change the ways. And last bucket that I will put it is uh, competition. In the current scenario, uh, competition has been, you know, they are coming up with new ideas. Their competition, you just cannot stop. And the new mindset is that, you know, uh, they are ready to do experiments. They are ready to, uh, the, the new trend is a startup. Okay. So you have to be ready for the competition. And competition will keep you, keep us always on our toes. So Thank you, Prashanji. Innovation and change management, of course, are the must yes. for all of us. Yeah. But uh, given the time constraint, I would uh, like to come back to Sharadji since he was talking about the digitization. Uh, could you please explain uh, what are the challenges you're getting because of digitization in pharmaceuticals? In uh, I am sorry to limit it to one minute because we have limited time. So if you could just uh, help us understand that. Y yes, of course. The digital sort of thing that has uh, a, a solution of the moment is being used by most of the industries these days. And in pharmaceutical, we have not yet started, or rather I should say that we are 10, 20 percent only. So as a, a marketer, as a sales personnel, my suggestion is that we should be fair enough uh, in our line management to use the, all the digital sort of things, the data management, the using the, these uh, social media platforms, though we are not allowed to advertise our brands in the social media, but even though uh, through diseases, through awareness campaigns and all, we can use our, our thing sort of thing in uh, digital marketing. And digital marketing is really a need of the day. And I should rather say that uh, we should definitely use it. True that. We all feel that uh, we cannot operate without the digital world. And having said that, even banking sector has evolved. 
uh, Manoji here represents Novel Bank, which had an uh, inno innovational uh, you know, app recently launched. I would not say recently, uh, it would be six to eight months back, the, ba the neo banking. So how difficult is it to build the trust with the customer virtually for the banking sector? Uh, <clears throat> either for banking sector or any, any other sectors, so connecting your customers virtually, of course, there are some problems and issues, right? Physically, mo gara kosalai pura gara convince gara talk ka isto aake erna hasir mule muskurayar jai mule personal mere level ko relationship establish gara koi manchala sales gara shaknu ra digitally connect bara gara numa there is difference, right? Banking sector ma bistare bistare dui ta kura. Euda kura the service ko digitalization ko kura. Service ko digitalization ma ta ami future ma banking jai abe sari hamile dheri ghatai shakya sun. Tapar lagi the awareness ko lagi bano. Uh, the bank or Gopola, Saka Holy Mandabitik, Tinazar, Tarazar Square Feet, Kosaka, Tulu Branch Manager Gurum, this and that, Untibani, Oily Garse, Barset, Square Feet, Kosano Branch uh, Location, Mami Kamgurum, Stalishakin, Kinmada, so many services are digitized. The new banking of a noble bank, Lago and Bank, when Nikura Bastama, the digital banking could Namatri Gora, otherwise, Montreal Policy Lipani, new bank. Uh, co concept like Leisha Gasa, the key institutions are new banking Malagisha Gasan. That means uh, there will be no physical existence of branches or people. They will connect digitally for every services. So, Oru service, Banda, banking service, Masai, digitally connect to Nazai, trust or confidence, Kisapita Legaro, then Ola, Kinavanda, license institutions, so regularly, regularly, monitoring or sir, transparency, sir, the transparency, sir, regulations, sir, or supposes or goes awareness of Nikura Baisi, public confidence, sir, either they will be utilizing digitized service or physical service, bank, when you see if there will be a logo of Nobel Bank or any other bank. People will have trust on that. So physically or digitally, my own kura confidence ko level or trust ko level maintain karnu par niyo. Oru sector lai banda banking sector lai digitally connect huna because of this regulatory requirement, transparency, ra product or service ko awareness to the ground level bhago karan le karda kiri. We feel uh, there will not be much more problem uh, to issue any digital products. Ra digitally, uh, ami connect huni public sanga zani kura ma apni uh, banking sector le oru sector banda better karsa, chito karsa. Ra product services regulations. The banking or transparency ko karan le pani people will have trust on that. The shocking chapani. Or ko kora immediately tapai le je karobar kora nuncha tapai ko phone bade tapai you can track it whether mere account ma debit baat sakhi credit baat sakhi chahi na. This karan le confirmation pani immediately hone shakne karan le karda kiri banking sahi digitalized service ma chito pani jansa or comfortable pani jansa. Thank you, Manoji. Given that we have very limited time and Pranayji or Prashanji is uh, representing a sector which is uh, very common most likely among our uh, attendees today. So I would like to take a few questions from the audience. questions please hand raise address if we could have the volunteer to him. address introduction shots There's somebody from the back. Hello. Savajana Namaskar. Marasam Mandari. As an ICT company, Info Developers Marketing Aid. My name is Manoj Sar Lagai. I have a panel on the panel. I have a question on the panel. In a digital connected world, customers have access to wealth of information. I have a lot of information on the panel. In your case, how do you empower your sales force? to be valuable consultant, providing insight and thought leadership rather than just push a product, push a product, push a matter of nowhere. Because as a consultant group, I can present it as a consultant group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bhandari Ji, the question is, we have to push the sales matter, we have to convince the sales matter, uh, I have to be responsible for my industry. As a good date, ma, mochay kani claim garchu banda. Tapa haru chay as a good date ma, jun suke pani aur product or service aur use garnu unsa pani. Ek duita hola. Otherwise, this ko cost price kati aur tapa le kati bechi rakhnu baasa kati margin sa banne kura chay. It is very tough to uh, even guess. 
हई तेई चीज को मार्जिन को ठा होते तर बैंकिंग सेक्टर को रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं यो डिस्क्लोजर को रिक्वायरमेंट ट्रांसपेरेंसी को रिक्वायरमेंट तैयार रेगुलेटर ने ये धीरे ठाव बार डिस्क्लोजर को रिक्वायरमेंट राखे कि तैयार जे सर्विस या प्रडक्टर तुम्हें तब यू कैन गेट ऑल द इन्फर्मेशन्स एंड हाउ मच बेनिफिट द बैंक हेज बिन टेकिंग हाउ मच बेनिफिट यू हेव बिन टेकिंग अभी तो मात्र होना यू कैन गेट सीमिलर टाइप अफ इन्फर्मेसन फर अल द सेक्टर सो कैन यू कैन जस्ट चेक जस्ते नबिल बैंक ने यह प्रडक्ट देख रखा हिमालय बैंक ने के दी रख यू कैन जस्ट चेक अलग तो कतिपय वेबसाइट्स में यदि हेन भाई प्रडक्ट या सर्विसेज कंपिटेटिव भी रेट और राख्या होना अलग तो भू बैंक अलग ओपन भैस पे तब जहाँ हाइएस्ट डिपोजिट को इंट्रेस्ट रेट है कस्टमर तीन जान सकता आज सब कुछ बैंक हाइएस्ट रेट दिशा लोन कस्टमर चाहे कुछ लोएस्ट कस को बेस्ट रेट कम छाने कुछ तब जान सकता बिकज अफ द ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड द डिस्क्लोजर रिक्वायरमेंट अलग फाइनेंसि लिटरेसी कोई इश्यू भाव यदि कुछ भी कंज्यूमर या कस्टमर चाहे फाइनेंसि लिटरेसी एडुकेट राखे बजार में जान चाहिए बैंक वेबसाइट्स आर एडुकेट टू गेट ऑल इन्फर्मेशन वन कस्टमर्स वन टू हेव अलग कन्फ्यूजन में हेल्प भी कर सपोर्ट भी कर कस्टमर सर्विस डिपर्टमेंट में हम तो प्रकार को रेस्पोन्सिबल मं राखी रखा होना तो अवेरनेस भी सकें भाई पुस् सेल्स को सस्टेनेबल सेल्स होना सकते हैं सस्टेनेबल सेल्स को लगी अवेरनेस रजुकेशन प्लस इन्फर्मेसन को सेयरिंग कर जिसमें बैंकिंग सेक्टर अवेयर और फर्दर के इंप्रुवमेंट को एरिया में जिससे कन्फिडेंस को लेवल बन जो लगे मैं थैंक यू थैंक यू मनोज जी डू यू हेव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रम आई थिंक वहाँ अगिदी हैंड रिज कर एंड इक्वली हेम वी कैन टेक ओनली वन क्वेश्चन बिकज अफ द टाइम कंस्ट्रेन्ट सो थैंक यू आई बीन आस्किंग लॉर्ड अफ क्वेश्चन सो आई फील वेरी अशीम स्टैंडिंग अप यू नो आई सेटिंग डाउन मैं क्वेश्चन जस्ट बिफोर दिस पैनल डिस्कशन हेपन्ड रिस्पेक्टेड रिम्पोचे से दैट यू नो डोट टॉक अबाउट don't talk about money a lot talk about peace but i believe if we do not talk about money you know our life would not be at peace so uh, my my question is uh, i see a banker out here you know the uh, deputy ceo of nabil bank hamro uh, arthatantra ma aile dui ta sector ma euta chai share market ra euta chai real estate ma thupri paisa bank ko lagani bhako avastha chai cha aile ko paripeksh ma chai yahan le तो पैसा जो फसिख को पैसा कसरी रेस्क्यू करने रो दुटा सेक्टर ललाम करना का निमित्त चाह मौदिक नीति ने तो हुन तो कहीं खास लियान तर हजर एवं एक्सपीरियंस्ड बैंकर को हिसाब से यह दुईटा सेक्टर कसरी रेस्क्यू कर सकता भाई मेरे दुटा प्रश्न थैंक यू थैंक यू सर एकदम पेचिदा प्रश्न सो जवाब दिवन दिज का है दिस इज द बिटर ट्रुथ रियलिटी हो तेल एक्सेप्ट कर वास्तव में हमी मैं नमाने पर मैं धेरे ठाव भाई अस्त गवर्नर साहब भाग में मैं तो डिस्कसन में भाई थे यो अल्ले जो प्रकार को इकोनोमिक डाउन टर्न आक इसमें चाहे वास्तव में कहीं ना कहीं अलग रेगुलेटर कहीं ना कहीं हमी बैंकर उद्यमी सब जिम्मेवार छो क्यों भादा तब हमें नहीं हो लोन लीएर चाहे वर्किंग कैपिटल फाइनेंसिंग को पैसा लीएर अलग जगह को टुकड़ा छोड़ी बयान कर हाल्यूं अलग चाहे सेयर में हाल्यूं छोरी को बिहार भी ग्यौं दुबई घूम भी गये है वी डिट अल दोज थिंग्स तेस कारण एक दशक में चाहे क्रेडिट टू जीडीपी रेसिओ तक फोर्टी सिक्स बार बढ़े नाइन्टी सिक्स पर्सेंट भाला बैंक को बैलेंस सीट को साइज तो बढ़ो ग्रोथ तो बढ़ो हमी मोटा को कि सुन को में कन्फ्यूजन भले जीडीपी का कंट्रिब्यूशन करने भन्न को मतलब हमें प्रडक्ट सेक्टर में लगानी नगर के कारण इसको बाई प्रडक्ट और भन न अब यह साइड इफेक्टर अभी इसी आई रखा अब फिर फैक्ट के भाई पैला पैसा कहीं ना कहीं सेयर मार्केट भाग रियल इस्टेट में बड़ी भू मैं सेयर मार्केट में पैसा तर तो भाग ठूल सेक्टर चाहे मू बैंकिंग सेक्टर को जो फाइनेंसिंग हमी कर कोलैट्रल सिक्युरिटीज फिक्स एसेट्स में लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग चाहे सिक्सटी फाइव भाग पर्सेंट भाग बड़ी है दुई तिहाई बैंक को टोटल लोन को एक्सपोजर चाहे बेस्ड अन के भाई रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर में छोटे को रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर में अलग अभी ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट जी यदि प्राइस डाउन भाव इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मेन्टेन तेस कारण अब यह फसा तो निकालने कसरी भादा अलग हे हाल्न भो अलग पैला भाग सेयर मार्केट तर रेगुलेटर रवर्मेंट भी अलग सफ्ट कर्नर इन्करेजमेंट करने जो देखी रखा अभी यतापटी किता काट कर दिने अरुण दिने भाई यह प्रेसरक कारण आगे कुछ हो अब बैंक ने तो खास के सकते तर बैंक आर ओपन टू फाइनेंस अभी आज भी हेन भावने धेरेवटा बैंक मार्जिन लेंडिंग को 
रेट चाहिँ धेरै सस्तोमा गरिसक्या छ रेगुलेटरले पनि 50 लाख रुपैयाँ सम्मको मार्जिन लेन्डिङ लाई चाहिँ रिस्क वेट घटाएको छ यी सबै चीजहरुले गर्दा यो खुकुलो गराउनै खोज्या हो तर एकैचोटी खुकुलो गराउन नखोज्या भने चेत मनको साथ अगाडि बढ भन्न खोज्या देखिन्छ त्यसकारणले यो अलिकति खुकुलो हुँदै गयो भने फेरि हाम्रोमा मैले अघि पनि भने लास्ट इयर र यो इयर हेर्नु भयो भने इन्डिकेटरहरु बेटर भएको छ तर कन्फिडेन्सको लेभल घटेको छ यो रिस्टोर भयो भने चाहिँ यसले काम गर्छ ब्याङ्किङ सेक्टरले हामीले गर्ने भनेको फाइनान्सियल इन्टरमिडिएसनमा त्यस्तो प्रकारको सेक्टरलाई फाइनान्सिङ नीड लाई हामीले पूरा गर्दिएर गर्नु त्यो भूमिकामा चाहिँ ब्याङ्कहरु तयार छन् भन्न चाहन्छु सर थ्याङ्क यु थ्याङ्क यु मनोज जी थ्याङ्क यु अल द प्यानलिस्ट फर बीइंग हियर टुडे वी हैड लिमिटेड टाइम इफ वी कुड वी कुड टॉक ऑल थ्रू द डे बिकॉज चैलेंजेस आर नेवर एंडिंग एंड वी ऑल नीड टू सॉर्ट देम आउट बट वी कैन नॉट डिनाई दैट एज प्रशांत जी सेड चेंज एंड इनोवेशन इज द की and customer centricity is required mobile sector was pharmaceuticals was chahe to fmcg was chahe banking sector was there are new challenges there are new ways to tackle it it's a buyers market not sellers market anymore so we've got to understand our customers having said that there's always a silver lining in the cloud so tha economic slowdown cha sabai cha tar hami sabai jana positive bhayera hamro problems lai tackle garna lagnai parcha So thank you so much for being here and uh, helping us to understand the challenges. Thank you Glo Growth Seller and uh, Mohan Dai for giving us the opportunity to be here. Uh we would like to end the panel discussion over here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I uh, would like to thank all our panelists and our moderator as we've already discussed because when we think about challenges as we've been discussing it was pretty huge because there are a lot of challenges starting from the geographical challenges to other challenges in terms of population to infrastructures and it, the list keeps on going but I felt like um one of the most important thing was like how data should go hand in hand and depending on the strategy it should be omnipresent so that it could be used everywhere and the crisp with communication of how to stand out and move ahead with the technology and the new trend is such an important aspect so thank you so much for um the insightful session to all our panelists now as we move ahead i'd like to call upon mr mohan oja chairperson sales summit steering committee to please be on stage as we present the token of appreciation for our panelists and thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for the sharing as well